Is it true this program was brought to you by WA's most trusted car dealer, John Hughes? Absolutely. Welcome to Zoom TV, the show where we explore things that fly, drive and float. I'd like you to meet my friend Alan Simons, who has kindly offered to help me with the show. Thank you, Aaron. I have indeed. Some say the only reason you've got me on the show is to increase the average age demographic. Some of the kids you've got working on this unit are 12. Mm. It's like working in a creche. But anyway, congratulations on the show and I look forward to working with you. Well, thanks for coming on the show. At least now we can review things for the older people. <laughs> thanks. On today's show, I look at one of the most affordable cars on the market, the Hyundai Getz, and take the VW Golf for a drive. Hans looks at a cheap way to get to and from work, and Alan and myself look at a business that makes using a boat easy and, best of all, affordable. And as usual, Aaron has some very interesting, what do you call it? Zoomaholics. Zoomaholics. Good. But first, I'm going to show you a car designed for the more active driver. Do you know what I love about new cars? It's the way that manufacturers are pushing the boundaries, raising the benchmarks, striving to achieve better economy, better performance and better looking cars. This is the all new Mitsubishi Outlander. It's the limited edition active. I think it looks brilliant and I can't wait to go for a drive. So come on, let's check her out. The limited edition Active is aimed at the Active family. It comes in an option of five or seven seats and is available in both five-speed manual and six-speed automatic. The automatic is a constant variable transmission, or CVT, which to be honest is my favourite. CVT transmissions are the best because each gear change is smooth and precise. It works simply, each gear is pre-loaded and slides into place. And being more precise, of course, means it's just that little bit more economical. You might have spotted the bigger 18-inch alloy wheels. Well, they come standard in the limited edition. It also has climate control air conditioning, active stability control, fog lamps and reverse parking sensors. But it doesn't stop there. The Active also receives a couple of things to dress it up. It gets upgraded trim, privacy glass, and black roof rails. Mitsubishi have also pimped it up slightly with a bit of chrome bling, giving it a chrome tipped exhaust and unique front grille. But my favorite feature would have to be the voice activated Bluetooth control, which lets you interact with your mobile phone, making calling from your mobile phone more safer and easier. How you doing, Alan? How's that boat coming? I'm sensational out here, my dear boy. Let me tell you, you've got the Bluetooth out here on the deep of the briny. We've got the shark tooth, and it's very special. <laughs> The limited edition Active comes only in a 2.4 litre four-cylinder petrol engine and has been awarded a five-star ANCAP safety rating. It has driver and passenger airbags, ABS and electronic brake force distribution. You also get peace of mind as it has a five-year 130,000 kilometre new car warranty. Plus, there's a 10-year drivetrain warranty. The limited edition Active Outlander Wagon is available in a range of options. However, we drove the six-speed CVT automatic with five seats, which is $36,490 drive away from John Hughes Mitsubishi. A seven-seater version is available for just $2,000 more. The Outlander was a great car to drive, and when you take into account its warranty, and Mitsubishi's fixed price servicing, which guarantees the cost you'll pay to service it for the first four years of ownership, it also seems like a great car to own. To explore the limited edition Outlander for yourself, get into John Hughes Mitsubishi or go to zoomtv.com.au. Today I have a very special double dose of Zoomaholics for you. First, I'm going to introduce you to a classic 1953 TD MG and then I'm going to take you for a spin in a beautifully restored, awesome Italian beast. Mm -hmm. 
I'm now joined by John Bennington and his amazing 1953 MGTD. John, this car is beautiful. Tell us about it. How long have you had it? I've had it for six to seven years. And in that time, uh, I've uh, rebuilt quite a bit of it. Uh, she's been around quite a bit. Uh, it's uh, just enjoyable car to drive. You're lucky, you're like me, you've got a shaved head so you can get out there in the convertible oh, whenever you want. Yeah, well I mean, the wind <laughs> sweeps past much quicker. MG's T-Series, along with the later MGB of the 60s and 70s, were the classic shape that became synonymous with MG. The goal of MG was to make a sports car more affordable for the average person. Most people may not know that MG actually stands for Morris Garage, which originally was a motor vehicle repair shop. So how did you come about getting it? Well this one, I've, I've owned uh, a couple of MGs before and uh, I was just looking for an older one and this is a particularly uh, interesting model. And, uh, there weren't too many around and I actually had to uh, go to Victoria to pick this up. The MG brand was in continuous use except for the years of the Second World War for 56 years. And to this day, John still uses his MG to get to and from the Motor Museum each and every week, driving it leisurely all the way from 2J. He told me it never misses a beat. So your car's broken down, you found the problem, it's a broken fuel pump. But you don't need a new one, you just need the old one serviced. But if you get the old one serviced, you'll have to wait for it to be done. A new one is quicker, but it's double the price of a service. Well with the United Fuel Injection Service Exchange Program, you can exchange your old pump for a serviced one. You can bring your broken pump to United Fuel Injection here in Redcliffe for exchange, or they can collect it from you. It's quick, simple, and extremely cost effective. United Fuel Injection have a huge range of service pumps and injectors available to suit a massive range of vehicles. So to get the best service and get on the road quickly, drop in and see the team at United Fuel Injection, or go to zoomtv.com.au. Welcome to the Zoom Review. Last week we looked at how bigger was better. This week we're going to look at how something small can pack a big punch. Meet the all new Volkswagen GTI hatch. It's been upgraded on the outside and completely redesigned under a shell. And she's apparently stealing hearts across the world. So come on, let's see if she can steal ours. The front of the Golf still proudly wears its renowned black honeycomb grille, which is highlighted by its traditional red stripes and a dash of chrome. Supported by subtle improvements to its inspirational exterior, giving it a fresh new sporty look. The new front air intake grilles add symmetry and depth, while the improved aerodynamic body extends the sporty theme from the front to the back of the hatch. The rear of the hatch is wide and flanked by a chunky pair of chrome exhaust pipes, and finally the 17-inch Denver alloy wheels are the icing on the cake. The GTI looks amazing on the outside, but she's even more inspiring on the inside. The finish is sleek and inspirational, but the great thing is, even though the Golf is more compact than the previous model, the interior is still the same size and is really roomy. The earlier Golf models were renowned for understeer when cornering. However, with the introduction of Volkswagen's extended electronic differential lock, or XDL, understeer has been eliminated. XDL applies pressure to the inner front wheel during cornering to prevent spinning. Precise brake pressure helps to maximise traction and therefore reduce understeer, making cornering easy, accurate and more importantly, safer. Volkswagen have made the Golf far more economical. It now averages 7.6 litres per 100 kilometres, but it will still get you to 100 in 6.9 seconds. The Golf has won many of this year's prestigious car awards, including Drive's Best Sports Car under $60,000 for the fourth year in a row, and Cars Guide Car of the Year, which are positive reflections of Volkswagen's ongoing developments. Volkswagen have dropped the suspension of the Golf, making it closer to the ground, more aerodynamic, and let's face it, just a little bit sexier.
The new redesigned Volkswagen Golf GTI is powered by a four-cylinder inline turbocharged direct injection petrol engine which averages just 7.6 litres per 100 k's, is available in a six-speed manual and a six-speed DSG automatic and is packed with features and add-ons to enhance your driving experience and make it safer comes with a three-year, 100,000k new car warranty and has a five-star ANCAP safety rating. The Golf GTI as I drove is just $48,640 drive away. Well, I'm not quite sure if she's stolen my heart, but there's definitely feelings there. I just need a little bit more time with her. To test drive the redesigned Volkswagen Golf GTI, drop into the award-winning John Hughes Volkswagen in Victoria Park or go to zoomtv.com.au. They are everywhere. Now, you see them every day, but when you hear the word scooter, be honest, you think of a boring, slow A to B vehicle for people who, quite frankly, rather be in a car. Well, thanks to Adley Scooters, that's no longer the case. And this is why. It's the Adley GTA 50, and you'd have to agree, it's a far cry from the bland and boring scooters of the past. With a much improved power to weight ratio and a vastly different aerodynamic body structure, it's quicker and it looks fantastic. It's aggressive, it's got LED headlights, alloy kick plates, and mesh vents. And look at that front disc brake. You could cut ham on that. Actually, wait, can we get lunch? The GTA 50 has taken a lot of its cues from its bigger, sporty motorbike cousins. It really is the sports bike version of a scooter, but it's not all just about looks. Now, everyone assumes scooters are cheaper to run than most other transport options, and they normally are. Now, in most instances, they can even be cheaper than public transport. And with petrol prices these days being more expensive than Kyle Sandlin's lunch, an Adley scooter is definitely a great choice for the budget-conscious commuter. All right, time for some simple maths. Now, the GTA 50 has a six-litre fuel tank. If you fill that up with premium petrol at today's price, it's going to cost you around $8, and you're going to get about 240 k's per tank, which means that is going to get you to and from work for a whole week. Now, you won't be able to give all your mates a lift to footy training, but then again, that's not what a scooter's for. It's for beating the traffic and beating your mates to footy training. If you want to get places quickly, cheaply, and now in style, you can't look past an Adley scooter. The GTA 50 is modern, weighs about as much as I do, which, come on, it's not much. And because it's a 50cc, all you need is a car license to ride one. So you can see that Adley have really tried to freshen up the image of a scooter. They've taken something that was once a domain of students and people who well, really couldn't afford a car, and they've turned it into something fun, quick, and absolutely no fuss. So if you're sick of traffic and spending all your rent on petrol, maybe it's time to check out an Adley scooter. They're very affordable, and most importantly, they look really good. To find out more about the entire range of Adley scooters, visit zoomtv.com.au. After the break, Alan and I take a look at a boat club with a difference. Captain Stupid of the Love Boat coming on board. That's coming up on Zoom TV. Well, owning a boat can be great, but it can be a very expensive process, especially when you look at the total cost and compare it with the total use. Well, most people who own a boat wouldn't use it more than one. 
couple of times, a handful of times a month. When you look at the cost of buying that boat, keeping the boat afloat, you know, mooring fees, fuel, etc., insurance, etc., mm -hmm. um, it's not a very good investment. It's a heck of a lot of fun, it's just not a very good investment. But what if you could have the boat of your choice when you wanted it, go anywhere you like, and only pay for the amount of time you actually use that boat? Then you've got something. You have, and now, thanks to Dreamboats, that is now a reality. Dreamboats make it possible to have access to a variety of fully maintained boats, experienced staff, and heaps of accessories that'll make your trip fun. Cool, well, let's go, Captain. Come with me. Dreamboats membership is a very innovative concept designed to provide members with access to a range of luxuries without all the complications of ownership. It's actually a very simple process. Dreamboats uses a membership program based simply on points. When you join Dreamboats, you choose the level of membership that suits you. Your membership is awarded points and you use those points to use the range of boats available. The best thing about Dreamboats is the flexibility. You can choose from a range of boats and a range of options. You can either skipper the boat of your choice yourself or you can appoint a club skipper to drive it for you. And if you're not too sure of your skippering abilities, don't worry because Dreamboats offer a comprehensive training and full backup sessions. And I look, don't answer that. <coughs> Captain Stupid of the Love Boat coming on board. Look out. A Dreamboats membership will give you access to a range of options that you wouldn't normally get from normal boat ownership. For example, you can book a boat loaded with a range of catering options and a skipper to drive it quickly and simply over the internet. And if you go with Dreamboats Privileges program, you'll get access to even more exclusive luxury. There really is no better way to entertain your friends, family or colleagues. That's right. And hurry up about it. It's coming, mate, it's coming. The Dream Boat's philosophy is to ensure that you experience and have exclusive access to the best boating experience possible, with the least inconvenience possible. And the Dream Boat's Privileges program will guarantee you enjoy a world of prestige, pleasure and status that most of us would, well, dream about. Dreamboats have a fleet of boats managed in a range of convenient locations across Perth. Each Dreamboat location has a range of quality, well-maintained quality boats, ranging from 18 feet right up to 60. Now they even have sea dude jet skis, which this guy is going to preview next week, aren't you? I am. I hope you do. So if you want to experience true luxury, join the club that's dedicated to providing it and begin your dream experience. To find out more about Dreamboats and access a world of privilege, go to zoomtv.com.au. One of the biggest weekly living costs for most people is the cost of their motor vehicle. There's maintenance, insurance, and the one that hurts the most, the cost per K. Well, if you're interested in saving money, pay attention, because today I check out a car that's not only value for money, it's also efficient to run and own. It's so efficient, it's got a bunch of awards to prove it. Say hello to the award-winning compact Hyundai Getz. The Getz is one of the most award-winning cars ever produced by Hyundai, because it's just so affordable, so practical, and truthfully, so well designed. It's a small car that is capable of sitting up to five adults, although, to be honest, I wouldn't encourage you did, as it's primarily designed to be affordable transport. What I mean is, it's a small car, and although it's got the seats for five, it's primarily been designed for the couple and the single person. Averaging just 6.1 litres per 100 k's, with the Getz, you won't need a second job just to fill it up. The Getz comes in two models, both a three-door and a five-door has a choice of four-cylinder engines in either a 1.4 or a slightly bigger 1.6 litre petrol. And you can grab it in a five-speed manual or a four-speed auto. Now you could be thinking there's a catch. It must have less safety, but it actually has just as much, if not more, than a standard family car. Safety features included in the Getz as standard include electronic brake force distribution, electronic stability control with traction control and it even includes both driver and passenger airbags with side airbags in all models. 
I drove the 1.6 litre four cylinder five speed manual, which includes ABS braking, full electric windows, Bluetooth mobile phone connectivity, MP3 CD stereo, and air conditioning, which at the moment will cost you $15,340 drive away for a limited time from John Hughes Hyundai. Now this is a small car, but there's a surprising amount of room in here. That is because of Hyundai's clever use of space. There's cup holders and useful storage options like this small shelf under the steering wheel. Hyundai have consciously planned the gets to be space efficient. Smart planning like open storage compartments without bulky lids help to add to the feeling of space. The simple exclusion of lids and the inclusion of open storage compartments causes quite the visual illusion and really does maximise the available storage, making access quick and simple. Hyundai have managed to jam a large car into a small one, so you actually get more for your dollar. Plus you get Hyundai's five year unlimited kilometre new car warranty to back it up. And don't forget you've got all of the awards to prove it, including the 2009 most economical car of the year. To get yourself into one, take a test drive at John Hughes Hyundai or to find out more go to zoomtv.com.au. I'm now with our second Zoomaholic, the owner and restorer of this beautiful 1974 308 GT4 Ferrari, John Withers. John, your car looks beautiful, but the truth is, it hasn't always looked beautiful, has it? No, no, she started life when I purchased her about five years ago as a wreck, and uh, I've spent the last few years getting her back into the condition you see her now. And she looks amazing now, but let's see how she drives. Yeah, let's no jump problem. in and go for a spin. <laughs> John admits that the Ferrari wasn't his first car of choice. His ownership of the GT4 Dino was a result of him saving it from a sure death. John was more invested in the restoration process rather than the car itself. He compares it to an animal lover nursing a sick animal back to health. The 1974 GT4 308 Dino has the first of the V8 mid-mounted engines and looks beautiful in the classic Ferrari red. Ferraris are famous for their striking looks, elegant design and of course the heart of the Ferrari, the engine, which possesses the famous aggressive tune which penetrates every inch of your body. I don't care who you are, you will not be able to hide the smile a Ferrari gives you simply by sitting in one. John, I was really impressed with the way it handled and drives, and how bad was she originally? Oh, she was very bad, and uh, I've had to restore nearly everything, including the engine and the interior. Um, and yes, it's just taken such a long time to get her up to the standard she is now. So you did the paint job, the mechanics, and, and all of the work that I see done inside here? Absolutely, yes. In fact, my uh, beloved wife helped me do all the leather interior. Yeah, she was a great help. It lo looks like a lot of love has gone into her. Oh, a lot of work, a lot of love, and a lot of nervous energy as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's always that way. From its conception, Ferraris have been synonymous with speed, performance, elegance, and of course, success, driven only by the rich and famous. The Ferrari is the brainchild of the late Enzo Ferrari, who himself was a great race car driver which best explains Ferrari's involvement and domination of F1 racing. To this day, a Ferrari still motivates as much, if not more emotion and attention as it first did. And each is still produced with the same passion and design values as it always was. And of course, each is still handcrafted in Italy. To buy one, it'll cost you more than twice the average price of a medium Perth home. John, thanks for taking me for a ride. I think it's gonna take a while to get this smile from my face. No problems, Aaron. Next week, I'll be back with another Zoomaholic and their amazing machine. And if you have an incredible car, boat or bike, we want to know about it. Go to zoomtv.com.au and become a Zoomaholic. And you never know, you and it could feature on a coming show.
Diesels are economical, and in my opinion, in most cases, much better on the environment. But sometimes without a turbocharger, they can be sluggish and lack a bit of torque. Nothing will give you more torque like a turbocharger will, and the best thing is, they are able to be fitted to your existing engine, and in most cases can be added in just a day or two. United Fuel Injection can supply and fit your vehicle with a compatible and reliable aftermarket turbo that will vastly improve the power and torque of your vehicle. Now I know what you're thinking ladies, do they make them for men? So to get more power and improve the economy of your diesel, drop in and see the experienced team at United Fuel Injection, where torque is cheap. Or go to zoomtv.com.au. And that's our show. If you would like to know anything more from the products from today's show or watch a previous show, go to zoomtv.com.au. Yep, up there you're going to find links on all of the stuff featured on today's show as well as competition details, more video reviews and info on how to become a Zoom TV member or what we like to call a Zoomaholic. And if you've got a cool car, boat or bike, send us an email because we want to know about it and you and it could feature on a coming show. But until next time, thanks for watching. See ya. Bye. Is it true this program was brought to you by WA's most trusted car dealer, John Hughes? Absolutely.